welcome back guys i'm back y'all with another video and this is going to be another collective read so if you didn't watch the collective read that i did earlier you can go back and watch all right so let's get some energy let's see what message is there for the collective what's going on with the collective spirit give me a message for the collective please Give me an overall message, overall energy for the collective. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so it looks like, wow, this kind of looks similar to the energy from before. Um, it looks like a connection or somebody's date life. Yeah, it's just flat out said. It just flat out said. Like somebody's date life really is trash. Okay. Somebody's life, love life is actually trash. Okay, we got flatlining, which is a relationship or a situation is dying. Conversation is going dead. Um, losing interest. Somebody could be losing interest. You could be losing interest in someone that you have been dating. Okay, we got tendering. Looking for a match. Dating, ready to mingle. Meeting new people online. So some of you may be in your feelings about that. Because just straight up. Like, you may feel like, you know, your date life isn't all that great. But it looks like it's a lot of capping going on. Okay, I'm going to just be real. It looks like it's a lot of capping going on because we got humble brag. So somebody's bragging, but really it's cap. Okay, really it's cap. All right, and then we got swerve. So somebody could be trying to send somebody for a loop, like to make someone believe something, throwing out, throwing out things. Um... To try to change the direction of something, someone could not be interested. But there's definitely like somebody's like, you know what? This, the route that this is going, it this ain't it. Okay, this ain't it. Now with humble brag, this is like don't not being so obvious, reading between the lines, self promoting and disguising that they're bragging. Okay, but somebody's like cap, 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 cap. What they're saying is not true. It's becoming someone you're not. Lies, bullshit, and faking. All right? So somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's not being honest about their love life. Their love life is actually like, you know, not even all of that. And this could be someone that you um, were dealing with. You may be, you know, seeing things that they're, that they're talking about, hearing about things that they're talking about, seeing things that they're talking about online. But it's really a lot of cap. It's a lot of capping going on. It's a lot of capping. What else? All right. So somebody's watching. Somebody really, really is really stalking. Somebody is really obsessed. So, there's a stalker here. They're being obvious that they're doing it, too. Because they're trying to find a reason to put put someone on blast. So, we got staycation. They've been in the house. They're on a budget. Okay? So, somebody here is on a budget. But they're bragging, bragging about what they got going on in their love life. But really, is not really it. Okay? And I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone... An ex or someone that you were dealing with or you're finding this out about somebody. Now, we got the texter. Think carefully before responding. Casual interaction. Expect a message. Detachment or communication. And then we got simp here. So, we got simp here. We'll do anything to win you over. Nice guy, nice girl syndrome. A fool begging and groveling. And somebody here is oh, watching and plotting and planning. This person could be watching you, seeing what you got going on. They're over here on a budget. And it looks like 
they over here trying to brag, but really they on the budget. Now we got shipping. They believe in a relationship, wishing you stay together, rooting for the partnership. So it looks like they have a bay. But the thing about them in this bay is that they're being they're finessing this person. This ain't even no real connection. Okay. Getting something in a sleek way, smoothing things out, stealing, buttering up, persuading, and charm. This person is using their charm to get what they want in this connection that they're in. Okay. This person is ratchet as hell. Okay. The person that they're dealing with could be ratchet as hell. Okay. But they're online bragging. Like, it's just everything. But really, it's not. It's really not. Now we got a high key. We got a high key. Something needs to be said out in the open, obviously letting everyone know. And then we got follow. Follower. Your influence is invisible. Too focused on others. Supporter, admirer, believer. Now we got put on blast. Low key. So somebody's trying to low key put somebody on blast. Somebody's trying to low key put somebody on blast. They could have a text message or a screenshot of some sort that they could be holding over someone's head that would make him look like a simp or make her look like a simp. But we got well played here. Somebody had a goal that they were trying to reach, okay? Now we got millennial. Self-enterprising, adventurous. This is more like a younger person. A younger person could definitely be involved. And I was also involved is that this person's point of view, this younger person's point of view is very surprising to a lot of people. And really, a lot of people who's like, look, I can't even, can't deal with no situation like that. Don't know what to say or do, can't comprehend, shaking my head, wow. Okay, so... They may have gotten with somebody who's younger. They got a goal in mind, and they're playing chess with this person, okay? So they're trying to make this situation seem like it's all good, but really it's not. It's not. They're looking at this younger person's point of view and how they think. People would be surprised how ignorant and childlike this other party is. The whole group is like that. Everybody that they hang with and they go on double dates and stuff like that. Everybody has the same mindset. It's really disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. All right, so we're going to pull a few cards and get some more energy. Tell me more about this, this person. Tell me more what's going on with the collective. Didn't I tell you? Four of Cups. This person is not even really legit interested. Like, they're not even interested for real. They're bored, okay? They are bored in this situation. They're bored. They don't even want to be there. They're waiting for something. Oh, we got wish that they would have waited. So they're, somebody's wishing that they could should have waited, but somebody's going along with something. They don't feel the passion anymore. They don't feel the passion in it anymore. They're faking it with the Seven of Swords. We got the Queen of Swords. And then this person could have like an attitude or is really strict. They come off as the Queen of Swords energy. We got the Eight of Cups here in the past. Yo, this person wanted wants to leave. This person don't even want to be done. 
I don't know why what why they sticking around. Mm. They know that they know that they're being watched. They know that they're being spied on. They want to break up with this person. They don't even want to be with this person. A Leo could be involved. A strip card there. King and Queen of Swords. This is the match. King and Queen of Swords. They both are very <laughs> strict. They both are very, you know, no, their tolerance level is, their patience is thin. Um, This person is King of Swords energy and a chariot. This person is trying to think of a way out. For some reason, it's not easy for them to just walk away. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Knight of Cups. Look at them over here soaking. They're regretting giving this person this offer. They feel like they should have walked away. Now with the three of swords here, they could be uh, hoping that this person breaks up with them first, so they won't feel like they're to blame. I just trying to him. Your person has told, this person has, I feel like for a lot of you, this is an ex. And this person has told the person that they're with now that they still care about you, that they still love you, that they still have feelings for you. This person knows about you, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely seeing somebody could also be having financial issues or that's just something that could uh, cause arguments or disagreements in the connection. Mm. Tell me why the Four of Cups is here. Uh, he's bored. He or she. Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups. Like, they feel drained by this connection. They could be juggling other uh, other partners. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Empress. This person is bored with this connection. Like, it's, it's like the, the fire is... The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone for good. <laughs> what are Ace of Wands here? Yeah, they just think that this person is going to be angry if they walk away, if they leave. So your person is over here trying to fix it, trying to figure out what they can do to make it work. Um, this person could be telling your person, like, you know, I don't deserve this to be treated like this. Giving them all type of hell. Giving them all type of hell. And your person is over here not being fulfilled, is unhappy. Ooh. So that's what I got, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Ciao for now.